All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the theme toggle in your Angular Material application. So basically, you have the app, and then you click the to toggle to dark theme to light theme, right? And also, it stores the theme preference, right? So if you click refresh, it will remember your preference, and then when you go next time, it will still work, right? So let's uh, just dive in. So let's start with a fresh project, and then I'm just going to use the ng new command, say uh, Material Theme Toggle. And then let's just go with, um, it doesn't really matter, but you know, let's just go with SCSS. And then if I want server side rendering, just click no, because you know, this is just a demo. We don't need server side rendering. If you guys don't know what this is, just ignore it. If you guys know, then you know, <laughs> say yes, if you need it, say no, if you don't need it, it's a bit complicated to explain in such short amount of time. But basically if you have like a one page application, it's typically no, but if you have many, many pages with like lots and lots of text then yes, you might need it. So, okay, it's done. And then let's go to the Angular material and then do ng surf, right? All right, this shouldn't take a while. So let's just go to the project itself. Oh, it's already in use. Okay, uh, let me just cancel this and then let's do it again. Cool. Right, so it's up. Let's go to localhost, and then here we go. So we have that. Brilliant. Okay, let's do that. Cool. All right. Uh, so this is the app. Now let's just clean this up a little bit. All right. So app dot component dot application. Let's just do. Uh, I'll just delete pretty much everything in here. Yeah, except this one. Okay. And then the app router. Mm, I guess I don't need the app router too, so let's just delete this. Yeah, I'm just gonna do everything in the app component. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's uh, go to. So it says on on you know unused warning. So this is coming on Angular 19. And then let's just uh, add the Angular material, right? So there's a neat command called like ng add. Uh, at angular slash material. Oh yeah, I have to go to the folder itself. All right, so we install an executor. Would you like to proceed? Yes, that's why I'm typing the thing, right? So let's just go with Azure Blue, right? that's fine. And you want to uh, material topography style, sure. Uh, include animations, sure. I think you would need all of these to get a good material component. Cool. Okay, so now Angular Material is installed. So let's just test this, right? Um, let's do like a simple button. So in order to do a button, you have to do a met button module. And then it, I think it comes from import met button module from. So this is like a single. Um, no, no, sorry, standalone component style, right? So at angular slash material slash button, I think. Okay, cool. So now we have um, imported the button, then do that button, click. Okay, so we have to make a material button in here. I guess mat raised button. Okay, it didn't work. Um, I think maybe I need a restart or something. Or maybe I need color equals primary, I guess. I don't know. It's like kind of weird. So maybe I need to restart. Or maybe I typed it wrong. Let me just see the material button documentation. I'm pretty sure this is it, right? So, okay, let's just do these at button, at raised button, at stroked button. Okay, I think this one should work okay now it's working nice i think it just needed a refresh uh after i installed angular material cool okay so now we have the button and it's working well nice okay so um ever since angular version 19 the theming has been kind of uh easy to do but uh back in the day like you know angular version 17 19 well i mean 17 and 18 it was kind of bad but now it's like really really clean so let's just do like angular uh 
ministerial theme, right? So we can go to the documentation, of course, um, and then basically see, you can see the, the theme is just like this, right? So if you want to define a theme and that's it. So that's uh, the, like, you know, if you want to do like one theme, right? So, but obviously we need to have uh, many, many themes, right? So uh, to, to use this, you just do, you know, let's just copy this and then put in here. And then I think this at use has to be on top. I'm not sure. Okay, so now we have. Uh, let's just do the dark theme first to make sure if it's working. Um, and then uh, typography, Roboto is just a font, right? And density zero. You don't really need these if you don't care about it. So you can just delete them. And uh, this is your material theme, right? So um, this is like the given theme from Angular. And of course you can customize it and stuff like that, but let's just go with this and then see if it, were, if it is working. Okay, yeah, it is working, right? So you have dark theme, which is great, but you can also change it to light theme as well. So and now it's light theme. So essentially we're just going to toggle these themes in between, right? So now what we're gonna do is like uh, create a dark theme. So we have the light theme and then we just say dark mode and essentially just copy paste this right uh, we can do this and then do a dark and then uh, let's just choose something di different than violet palette right so uh, i'm just going to choose what i had in the demo which is azure palette and i think all the theming options are in is it in here yeah it's here so you can just choose between these and also you can create your own custom palette as well but i think this has isn't enough for demonstration purposes. So cool. Okay. So now essentially what this means is if you have the HTML as like dark mode class, it will go to dark mode, right? So that's, that's basically it. So now it's light mode by default, right? But if you go to the HTML and then say, okay, let's just do, let's just try dark mode, right? Did I spell it right? Okay. So yeah, if I inject the class in here, then it just works, right? So essentially what we're going to do is uh, add this class and delete this class to toggle it up. Okay, so let's just do that. To do that, uh, we need a um, a service, uh, like a theme service, right? So let's just create that. Um, created by ng generate assets for services. So I like to have like a services folder and then let's just do like a theme service, right? Okay, cool. So we have services folder and then spec is, we can delete this, right? Okay, so now we go to the theme service. Okay, let's start really, really simple. Um, let's just do like a set theme function, set theme function, or maybe toggle, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but um, if you are going to add like uh, like three or 40 themes in your site, I think this is a good function to have. So let's just create like a theme type, right? So for now, the type is only for uh, two uh, themes, which is light and dark. uh dark or light so this is just basically like dark or light string and we, because there's types it's just good to have types right you don't even really need to do this but it's just good practice okay cool um so now um let's do this okay so if um if the theme is dark right so if they're giving like theme equal equal dark then we need to inject the class to the html right um, so that, uh, we can do that by manipulating the DOMs basically, right? So, uh, there's like a, uh, service that you can manipulate the document object itself. So, uh, back in the day, you can just do like, you know, document dot blah, 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 right. But I think that's like really bad practice nowadays. So now there's like a dedicated service to do that. So we can do like private read only, even though you didn't really have to do private read only, but this is just for, you know, good practice. Uh, Google likes to do this stuff. So, um, you make sure your every service is like basically private read only because you're not going to be using outside and also you're not going to, you don't want to be messing around with it, right? So that's why it's read only private. Okay, so let's just do inject and it's from core. Oh no, it's small inject. So this is the new Angular syntax to inject your uh, services, right? So now this thing is called document. Okay, yeah, it's over on Angular common. Okay, now we have the uh, document service. Okay, so in order to add the class to the document level, we just do document dot document element, which is the root element, right? And then class list dot add, and then you just, you know, do the dark mode. Like this, that's the string name, right? So for the class, we have 
uh, dark mode here. So we just copy that basically dark mode here. And then if it's not dark, uh, maybe it's light. I mean, I can, we can do, you can do switch statements in here, but since we have only two options, I'll just do this. And then essentially for the toggle, if, because it's a toggle, you can, you know, just remove element, right? Remove dark mode. So that's basically it. So let's just try this function, right? So uh, we have the service created and then well, let's just inject it in here, right? Oops, for the, uh, at the button level. So now we have theme service, service and then inject theme service. And then we have to import the inject and as well as let's just add, you know, private, um, read only, right? Cool. Okay. Let's just try to do, uh, change the theme by clicking up the button, right? Um, so we have to add like a click event in here. So we here click, uh, change theme, right? And then let's just change the theme to dark, like from here. Obviously this needs to be toggled up, but let's just test it. Right. Okay. So we have change theme and then theme comes in a string. I'm just going to be lazy theme service dot set theme as theme. Okay. Well, I guess I, I have to do this. Okay, cool. Okay. If I click it, it should change uh, the uh, theming to dark. Let's just try it. Okay. It works right. But if you click again, it doesn't work to anything. So this needs to be a toggle. All right. Cool. So change theme function works. We just proved that. So now let's create like a toggle function, right? Maybe the set theme uh, function is, you know, useful if you have multiple themes, but if you have toggle, then it's a different story, right? So let's do like toggle theme function in here. So essentially what, what I, we need here is that, um, if the current theme, right? So we have to have something called current theme, uh, is equal to light. Then we have to, uh, set the theme, right? So call the set theme into dark, right? And then if it's the other way, then let's just call it set, set theme light. So that's basically it. But what about this function, right? No, no sorry, not function, the variable, right? So how we just have to, have to create it. And the perfect way to create this would be using a signal. So because this is a changing variable, right? And um, you can use it outside of the service as well, but you know, but uh, let's just do it with signals in here. And then the signal would be theme type and the default is light. So let's just import the signal, but you don't, you don't have to reuse signal in here uh, necessarily just have to have like a, you can create a variable in here, but I mean, I just like to use signals in here because it's like a new modern way of doing it. Right. And basically if you want your application to be like zoneless, then this is a way to go. So what I, I, I would do this definitely. And uh, since the current theme is light, and then whenever we set the theme, we have to change the current theme, right? So dot current theme, set theme. So this is the update part of the theme. Okay, cool. So we have the toggle theme function. Let's just call this function, right? Uh, from the button. So now there's like a really cool trick that you can do. So since I made this private, you cannot access it from the HTML, right? But now I can delete the private. I don't even need this function and call the toggle function directly from the HTML. So, uh, theme service, theme service dot toggle theme, and that's it. So this is how you can call the service directly from the HTML. Um, so now if I do toggle, it works nice. Okay. So now the toggle button definitely works. But the thing is that, um, because the default value is light, if you refresh it, it just goes to light, right? So now you have some sort of way to save this theme. So the perfect place to save this theme would be in local storage, right? So let's just do, um, local storage saving method in here. So that's, that should be really quick. Okay, cool. Um, let's, uh, try to do something like, okay, whenever we set the theme, we do something like set theme in local storage, something like this method, right? And then we pass in the theme. So let's create this method. Then we have theme as like a theme object. And then I'm calling this dot, oops, this dot, oh, 
theme. Okay, so now this method is responsible for setting the theme to local storage. So that that's uh, like what we have as this, you know, kind of like synchronization, I guess. Um, so to set to set it, you just do this um, local storage dot set item, and then there you have to have a key, right? So let's just do like uh, my theme or something like that. But I mean, I guess you need some something something like preferred theme or something like that. Um, and then just do theme, right? So that's how you set the theme. Um, not set, I guess, uh, just save string in local storage, but we're going to be reading this afterwards. Um, okay, let's try, uh, okay, set, set is done. Let's try reading it, right? So now we have to do something like get theme from local storage. Okay, S is capitalized. And then basically we just do uh, get item like that. Cool. But you know, this thing can have um, null values, right? So if you hover over it, this can have null because obviously, I mean, if the key doesn't exist, then what are you gonna do, right? So um, I was just gonna do this. And also like this comes in as a string, right? So we have to convert it to the theme as theme. We're just gonna convert it to theme. And then let's just do something like uh, light, I guess. But you know, or you can just do, um, yeah, I think the light is fine. Or we could, you, know, you can just do null, but I mean, this is already returning null, right? Let me check. So if this function returns theme, okay. I guess if it's null, then it returns null, I guess. Okay, whatever. Right. Um, so now let's read the saved theme, right? So read means like assigning, I guess. So you have to read it and then set it essentially. So, uh, mm, okay. Let's just do light in here. So it always returns something, even if it's no. Okay, cool. Now we do like assign theme, assign, save theme, I guess. Okay. So this is, this method essentially, you know, uh, is responsible for reading it. I mean, I, got, I don't know, I don't have to create like a separate method in here. I can just do it in constructor, I feel like. Okay. So on the constructor, I can do get theme, right? Const theme gets from local storage. Okay. You get it. And then basically set it, right? This dot, um, set theme theme. That's it. So we don't even need this variables. You can just do this set theme to theme. Great. I think this covers it. Okay. Let's just try. Oh uh, yeah. So set the theme, look story, local storage, read it from local storage. Okay, cool. Let's just try. Okay, so if I refresh, obviously it's light. If I click on dark, refresh, it's still dark. Nice. If I do this, it's still light. Okay, cool. Now that's about it, right? So if you want to do like um, multiple theming, you can. But you know, in this video, I just wanted to do the toggle because that's like the most common use case, right? And if you want to um, play around with the color palettes, you can. But you know, I just prefer to use the default ones uh, out there. So. That's about it. And uh, many tutorials out there might do something like uh, add, the, add the class of the body, but I feel like that was pretty wrong because like your background doesn't change the color if, if you do that. It's just, you know, only this part changes the color, I think. And then the, the whole background doesn't change the color. So that's, that's pretty bad, right? You won't obviously want everything to change the color in the background to be dark, right? So. Um, don't do that and then just do, do, do it in the HTML uh, element uh, because like, you know, I looked at the <clears throat> angular.dev websites code and then it's basically the same thing as that I've worked here. So this is like good practice to do. If Google is doing it, it must be good, right? So uh, that's my mantra at least, but not always. So um, yeah, that's basically it. And then uh, hopefully this video was helpful and then uh, yeah, see you guys. See you guys later.